Let's look at like terms, guys. Like terms, as the name implies, are terms that are alike. So if they have the same variables that the um, terms end with, they are called like terms. Now I'll give you some simple ex um, examples so you get the better idea of what like terms are. If you have a look at the ball we, uh, board, we've got two circular balls that look identical to each other. So this one, we can call them like terms. These are like terms because they look identical. They have the same looking. So this is like terms. As simple as that, guys. So now this one here, these two circular faces, these are also like terms. They all, they both look identical, don't they? So we call them like terms. Now have a look at this one here, guys. Uh, we've got a circular face and a little donut. They are not like terms because they do not look alike. So that's pretty much it. Okay, guys, if they don't look the same, they're not like terms, and it's as simple as that. That's all you need to worry about in this section. So, if they are like terms, we can group them together and simplify them and make them look much more simple. So, the whole point of this section is to gather your like terms together and simplify them. So, let's start with a quick question to get your ideas across with what like terms are. Now it says collect the like terms and they give you a list of terms and we have to group what like terms are. I'm going to show you how to do this. You might be confused because there's X's and there's Y's but all you have to do is gather what looks the same. So look at the uh, variables that the numbers or the terms end with. So starting with the X's. This is 3X. The negative X is also the same. And the Y's. These are the Y's. And you can see they drag down and we can group them together because they all end in Y. That's the like terms. So although they have different coefficients, because they have the same variable, we call them like terms. And same with these. They both end in X, so they have the same variable, so we call them like terms. So this is one group and this is another group. Make sense, guys? Alright, question two, we're going to do something very similar, collect the like terms again. So this time we have more, and we've got lots of X and Y's, so don't get confused, guys. A lot of people might think that everything is a like term, but it has X in it and it has Y's in it, but it's not as simple as that, so watch very closely. I'm going to start with my X squared. So X squared, everything that ends in X squared, like this one here, and this one, I'm going to group. Now X, Y's, anything that ends in X, Y group, and there's nothing else. So the X's, X squared, sorry. X squares, these all end in X squares, so I'm going to group those together. And these both end in XY. XY itself is one variable, we call it one um, like term. So see how this one has XY, this one has XY? They both end in the same XY, so they are also like terms. But X and Y, they're not the same. Now this can't fit into here, by the way, guys. A lot of people think that this and this is also like terms. This is X squared. This is an X. They're different. They're not like terms. They don't look the same. So they're not like terms. These don't belong anywhere, so those are the odd ones out. Make sense, guys? That's all you need to do. Question three. Simplify 3x plus 2x. First of all, guys, tell me, are they like terms or not? Well, they both end in the same variable x. So yes, they are like terms. So all we have to do now is add them together and simplify it. So three lots of x's plus two lots of x's make five lots of x's, so we can simplify it to 5x. Basically, you can think of it like this. Because they end in the same variable, so they are like terms, that particular variable can stay, so they stay at the end, and the coefficients, we can simply add them together, which makes 5. That's what you can think of it as. Question 4. Simplify 3x plus 2x uh, plus 4x. The 3x plus 2x plus 4x, first of all, guys, tell me, are they like terms or not? Definitely yes, because they all end in the same variable x. So now we just have to group the coefficients. So what's 3 plus 2? That makes 5. Plus another 4 makes 9. So the total of these is 9x. That's all you need to do is in the simplest form. Now let's look at question 5. Simplify 3x plus 4x minus 2x. So again, they are all like terms. I can say that because they all end in the same variable x. So let's just focus on the coefficients. So 3 plus 4 makes 7, and then minus 2 makes 5, so this would be simplified to 5x. Alright, question 6. Simplify 3x plus 4y plus 2x. Now this time, guys, I can't say they are all like terms, because we've got x, and we've got a y, and we've got an x. So which ones are the like terms? Can you spot it out for me? Well, I can see that 
3x and my 2x are like terms. So I'll put the 4y at the end. So see how I group the x's together? Because these are the like terms. That's the main part of this um, section here, guys. You have to group the x's together, which are the like terms. So then when they're side by side next to each other, we can just add them together or simplify them. So 3x plus 2x, we've done something like this earlier in one of the other questions, haven't we? 3x plus 2x is simply 5x. And then the 4y, we just drag it down. So the answer is 5x plus 4y, and we can't simplify any further because there's no more like terms. We can only simplify if there's like terms. Now, there's no need for you to put that big gap there, but I just put it there for you so you can see what the difference is, yes? So that's the, question, that's the answer for question four, sorry, six. Okay, next one, question seven. Now it says simplify. Now there's this big expression here, but don't worry guys, all you need to do, no matter how big the expression is, just group your like terms. So, watch this. I'm going to group my like terms um, in order. So I'm going to start with my x's. So 3x, the 2x comes down, now the y's, so the xy's. The xy's group together, and finally the leftovers, which is the y. There's no more y, so I'll just put it at the end. So see how I group the x's together, and the xy's together, and then anything else we'll just put at the end. So, let's group the x's together. 3x plus 2x makes 5x, this one makes 3xy, and then the 2y just bring it down. Yes, see how I got that? 5xy minus 2xy makes 3xy, and that's all you need to do. And again, you don't need this big gap when you leave your answers, but you can just see that 5x plus 3xy plus 2y is the final answer, no more like terms. That's the final one. All right, we'll do another one, question eight. Simplify, again, we've got some big expression here, but again, all you need to focus on is to group the like terms. So what has the same variable at the um, end of the coefficients? So let's have a look, guys. I'm going to start grouping. So see if you can pick them out for me. You can just maybe use your fingers and group them out for me. I'm going to start with my x squares. So group the x squares together. Now, they, what are we going to So all the x, x squares come out the front. Now the x's. And that's also an x. So we can group them together, right? See so all the x squares, I group them out together and all the x's, I group them together. Remember guys, x squared and x are not like terms. Yeah, they have they are completely different. x squared and x are completely different. So let's work with the x squares first. x squared plus x squared plus x squared, there's three lots of x squared, that makes three x squared. And three x, because five x minus two x simply becomes three x, doesn't it? And that is the answer guys, can you see? So three x squared, plus 3x is the final answer, you cannot simplify any further because they are not like terms. 